We're running uh, against Secretary Clinton, uh, and that's fine, but former President Bill Clinton has been running around the country. The other day he said, you know, um, you know Bernie Sanders is angry. Well, you know what? He's true. <laughs> I am angry, and the American people are angry. They are angry that we are the only major country on earth that doesn't guarantee health care to all of our people. They are angry that we have more income and wealth inequality than any other major country on earth. They are angry that millions of our young people are graduating school deeply in debt. I am angry that we have a minimum wage of seven and a quarter an hour, which is a starvation wage. So there is a lot, in fact, to be angry about. But our job, our job, as opposed to the Trump campaign, which also has a lot of Anger. Is what they are doing, what Trump is doing with the anger that he sees, is he is using it to scapegoat others. What he is doing is trying to divide us up. What he is doing is making outrageous statements that people from Mexico are criminals and, and rape, rapists uh, and, and are drug dealers. And he's telling us that Muslims should not be allowed to enter our country. And what we are saying, which is profoundly different, is that when we stand together as a people, black, white, and Asian Americans, when we stand together, gay and straight, male and female, people born in this country and people who have come from another country, when we stand together, there is nothing that we cannot accomplish. Second used to ask me, you know, like, what's the best place? Let me tell you something about nigga. What the fuck, man? Let me tell you something about nigga. You talk about that. Like, this is not like, racist. Why do we talk about that? Why do we talk about that? Pussy monster shit. Like, so why is pussy talk, man? Wait, there's a lot of pussy.
He's James David Manning, and I'm not yes, going to bow down. All Barack him. Hussein Obama needs is a mustache. Well, how would you describe That's it? That's all he, he needs, and an outstretched right well, arm. Well, what image are you portraying? And we are repeating history all over again. All over again. No, who, who are you? Who is Maria? The 12th grader said that they smoked marijuana recently. Today, that number is down to 22 percent. Not the number I just gave. Well, your number that's is wrong. Easy. That's easy. No, wrong. your number is wrong. Take it up with the National Institutes no, of Health. All right, they're the one that I am a out. council member on the National Institutes of Health. Your number is wrong. I'm telling you, it's 22 percent. Well, this is an interesting book. Now, I want to clarify. You're a Muslim, so why did you write a book about the founder of Christianity? Well, to be clear, I am a scholar of religions with four degrees, including one in the New Testament and fluency in Biblical Greek, who has been studying the origins of Christianity for two decades, who also just happens to be a Muslim. So uh, it's not that I'm just some Muslim writing about Jesus. I am an expert with a PhD in the history of religions. Uh, but but I have been obsessed question, with Jesus. Though, it still begs the question, why would you be interested in the founder of Christianity? Because it's my job as an academic, I am a professor of religion, including the New Testament. Uh, that's what I do for a living, actually. I want to see a Republican Party that rather than trying to make it more difficult to vote and restricting the number of days and hours you can vote, a Republican Party that says, we want everybody to vote and we're going to give you a reason to vote for us. All right, but I don't think I'm not I don't know what I'm if, if asking for an ID is trying to restrict the vote, I, I mean, I'm sorry. You should people, be able to prove who you are before you cast the ballot. No, you should be able to prove who you are when you register to vote. And when you make the proper registration, identify yourself, you shouldn't have to go to some higher level. You know how fraud is committed. And I, I mean, Boston and Chicago, you register and then you show up and it's not you. I have not seen any study that says fraud is a problem of such significance. Come experience the Steve Wilco Show live, up close, in your face, real life stories. Hey, I might even throw a chair. Yeah. Free tickets to attend a live 